life journey here. We've got uh, 70 cars uh, arriving, so I hope we can fit them all in. I guess we can. Uh, just to say that Toby over here is going to be doing a um, a roof fitting. So if anybody's interested in, in uh, looking at how the roof is fitted to the car, then they can come and have a look at Toby's demonstration over here. And he's starting that in a little while. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, goodies over here. Uh, in, the, in the figure owners club tent and obviously we've got a lot of raffle prizes too so please come and buy your raffle tickets it's obviously for a good cause and I'll be saying a few other things uh, during the day so welcome everyone to the event thank you Uh, piece of paper uh, with the information and if I can ask everyone to go around and look at the cars and judge them for the best custom, the best classic, uh, the car of the show and also uh, the best and cleanest engine bay and at the moment it looks like I'm going to win that because I'm the only one with the bonnet up <laughs> so if we can ask anyone else who wants to win the, the cleanest engine bay to put their bonnets up so people can peer into your engine and see how lovely and clean it all is. Okay. Hi there, it's Kevin again from the Figure Owners Club and uh, we're here at the Ace Calf London for our first event of 2015. Uh, as you can see, a fantastic turnout of Figaro. We've got around 70 cars coming today. At the moment, uh, I think there's about 66 here, so four, four left to come. In fact, we've had to park a few out the front here uh, because we're running out of room. Uh, we've got a, a, a number of uh, tents here, we've got obviously our club tent here, we've got our t-shirts and bits and bobs people are, are coming to buy, as well as we've got uh, the Figaro shops here with Toby and his team, and in fact they're doing a live demonstration today of fitting the roof to the Figaro. Uh, it's a fantastic event, the sun's come out, uh, we've got uh, so many people that have arrived, uh, a couple have come from Holland, we've got some guy from Belgium, obviously people from Bristol, uh, uh, um, Ken and Sandra up from Scotland so uh, it's a fantastic event as I said what we're going to be doing over the next sort of little while uh, during this video is I'm going to be talking to a few of our members about their cars and uh, maybe get under the skin of, of why they love the Figaro so much so that's all for me and uh, we'll come back to you in a minute thanks again. Hi there it's Kevin again so we've got Vanessa and Nikki one of our longest members and uh, we just wanted to ask them a few questions about the figures. we know they're really enthusiastic about the car. So Vanessa, how long have you had the car for? Nearly five years. And um, what do you love about the figure? It's easy to drive, fun to go out in um, and everybody gives you a wave. And you love the attention, yeah? yeah. <laughs> and have you done st stuff with the club over the years? Yes, we've been to Jersey and Normandy and to Scotland this year and we've got our own little thing going on yeah. in Somerset. Brilliant, so you made a lot of friends through having a figure as well? Yeah. Okay. And, what about, and what about you, Nikki? Yeah, uh, all the same reasons. Um, everybody wants to know about the Figaro's. Wherever you pull up, everybody stops and um, asks lots of questions. Um, and it makes so many good friends. We're seeing new people all the time. Yeah. Everyone's got that, um, that same thing in common. And you love being here today, so it makes other, other owners as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks very much for being on the, on the video. See you later. Hi oh, there, it's Kevin again. So we've actually got Ken and Sandra, uh, one of our uh, Scottish members, and they've actually brought their Figaro down to the event in London today. So tell me, Ken, what do you love about your Figaro? Uh, I just love the car, I love it, but it's fantastic. Just the design, the style, and uh, just the way that they attract so much attention. It's just uh, it's so much fun driving them. Everyone, everyone's waving and smiling. So and, you find uh, when you stop in the car that people want to know about it? I can't go shopping, but I can <laughs> ride the car park, the car park and somebody say, what is this? Can you tell me about it? And, uh, 
sadly I can bore for Britain about the car. Yeah. It's fine, you know, I've got to have an hour Brilliant. Have you done much with the take rallies? Uh, well, we've done uh, not a few of the rallies. We were yep. a bit concerned about going to the first rally in case people were really sort of uh, petrol, heads. Uh, petrol heads or whatever, <laughs> but we went in the first one to Lake District and it was just fantastic, so much fun. And we went to Holland yeah. and then did, did the Isle of Wight, which was uh, Special people. a short notice one. We planned not to go because it was so far and then we got to heck, let's go. We were really? uh, having a great time. And I understand the club's coming up to Scotland. It's in the coming next to Scotland months. and yep. uh, I think given my stress levels, I think it might end up being the Ken Graham Memorial Rally because I'm just getting so stressed <laughs> about it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be great fun. You're I'm, actually organising quite a lot of the rallies. I'm planning some of the routes and yeah. things, so uh, just trying to get it right. But as you say so often, Kevin, it's getting lost, it's after fun. Yeah, so, uh, definitely, uh, definitely. So as long as we can remember that. And what about you, Sarge? Did you get a chance to, to drive the car? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be my car yeah. when we first got it and Ken's claimed it. So I'm looking for another one. Brilliant. <laughs> We're going to get two then. <laughs> oh, I would like one. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks very much for your okay, time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there, it's Kevin again. So we've got Tanja and Bridget who's actually come over from Holland, all the way from Holland today uh, for the Ice Cap event. So I just wanted to ask them a few questions about the Figaro. So tell me Bridget a little bit about your car, how long have you had your Figaro for? Well, it's a special anniversary because today I have exactly four years. Four years? Yes. yes. And what do you love about the car? Everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> I think you find that when you the car, you get lots of And you came over on Thursday or Friday to the event and you travelled over the ferry? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you came last year as well. So you yeah, love, you love no, the no, stuff. two years ago. Two years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and have you done anything with the big road club? Yes, we have uh, 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 we the road uh, okay. uh, we painted it, a uh, new bumper, yeah. and all kinds of things. We did it uh, last winter okay. to make it more beautiful. Because we came here at the meeting, we thought, oh my god, all the cars are so beautiful. So we have to make ours <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, too. <laughs> but I understand you have good support in, in, in Holland yes, over the yes, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. As well, which, which is good, yeah. obviously, if you own the car. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good Thank day. You. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Bye -bye. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, 72 cars. Give yourself a round of applause. Well done, and thanks so much for supporting it today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, before I um, go on with it, I just want to say a huge thanks to my family in Belinda. Can you give them a, a round of applause? They worked tirelessly over the last few hours dealing with everyone. So, again, thanks so much for attending today. It does mean a lot to me. Obviously, with running the club, I can build it, but I need people to turn up and support it. So thanks so much for doing that. Right, I don't know whether you saw in my last newsletter, I announced that there was going to be a big announcement next year. Well, you guys are going to be the first ones to know about it. Next year, we're going to have the 25th anniversary big party weekend. Yay! And it's going to be on June the 4th and the 5th. And that's a Saturday and a Sunday. And it's going to be at a fantastic venue called the Rocks All, Rocks All Abbey. It's near Birmingham. We've got the whole venue for the weekend. It's an absolutely stunning venue. And we're hoping to get around three or four hundred Figaro's there. Okay? Now, this is going to be a huge event, okay? What we're going to do, we've offered basically dinner dance on the Saturday evening at the most beautiful restaurant. You can stay the night on the Sunday. We're going to have what we're going to call the Figaro Fair, which is going to be um, basically uh, a collection of Figaro's, hopefully two or three hundred. 
Uh, we're going to have also a rally drive out. Me and Sue have done the drive out and it's stunning. We can go around beautiful countryside, over rivers and under bridges. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, just imagine that with two or three hundred Figaro's in a massive convoy. We're going to cause absolute mayhem to be in the family to support the club. Fantastic. Just a couple of things. Uh, we're still trying to tell, sell tickets for Carfest North, so if anybody's interested, it's a fantastic event, obviously the Chris Evans event. Uh, we've only got two cars at the moment, so we're looking for another three cars. And we're desperate to do it, we need five cars there, so if anybody wants to do it, then please obviously fill in the website. And um, so that's it for me, uh, thanks very much for attending today, I hope you've enjoyed it, the weather's been fantastic, 72 cars, brilliant. And uh, have a safe journey home everyone, and uh, see you again soon. Cheers! Hey, well, I'm going back for a rest now. <laughs>